Hey guys, uh, if you're like me and you're doing a low carb keto type uh, life, whether you're a type one diabetic like me or you just have other dietary restrictions, you know, it can get a little old eating lots of bacon, lots of meat, lots of animal fat all the time. And I'm just looking for different ways to kind of lighten it up a little bit while still keeping things delicious. So tonight I'm gonna take some hot Italian Beyond sausage uh, links and I'm gonna make meatballs out of those. I'm gonna take some cauliflower and make a mac and cheese style cauliflower, which I'm sure you've seen a million variations of. And uh, that's gonna be dinner tonight, so let's get going. You know, first you're gonna wanna take the cauliflower and you're gonna rinse it off and then just chop it up into, you know, bite-sized pieces. After you chop up the uh, cauliflower, you're gonna wanna toss it in a little bit of uh, olive oil, try to use the best you can, and uh, throw it in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes. After you've tossed the cauliflower in some good olive oil, throw it in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. While your cauliflower is in the oven, take the Beyond Meat sausage and uh, peel off this sort of outside coating, which I mean, it's not pig intestine, so it's not like it's gross or anything, but you know, remove it and then make the pieces into little meatball sized things. After you've uh, made them into balls, put them in a cast iron pan with a little bit of oil. Um, hear me out, I know that the Beyond Meat uh, meat itself has a lot of oil, so you don't really need it for the actual cooking, but I've added some just so it doesn't stick to the pan while it's in the oven. Uh, so yeah, it's up to you whether or not you want to use the oil, but I figure if you're going keto, that sort of thing, a little bit of extra fat here and there, can't hurt ya. At the 10 minute mark, pull the cauliflower out and give it a little toss and then throw it back in the oven for five more minutes. While your uh, cauliflower is cooling off just a little bit after you pull it out of the oven, it's time to make the cheese sauce which for me, not really following a recipe, just sort of eyeballing it tonight. I did about a cup and a half of heavy cream. I've got about two cups of shredded Gouda going into here, some butter, some cream cheese, secret ingredient, some Gouda Poupon, and then also some paprika, coriander, and some pepper. Uh, more on that soon. So after like, uh, you know, four or so minutes on medium heat, once everything's mostly melted and you're going to find the cheeses are going to melt at different uh, speeds, uh, go ahead and pour it onto the cauliflower. And one thing I want to note here is you really can use this recipe to just kind of get rid of any extra cheeses or dairies you might have in your fridge. I used some delicious cheddar that was going to go bad soon as well as some fresh Gouda and really each recipe should be different based on just sort of what you're trying to get rid of and what you're enjoying at the moment. Once you've got the sauce mixed in, go ahead and put the cauliflower and the meatballs into your 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. All right, so at the 20 minute mark, take out the meatballs, which, you know, be careful, it's gonna be pretty hot. And uh, hopefully, maybe along the way, you might've flipped them once or so, I did. Uh, but then take the uh, mac and cheese and put it in the middle and uh, turn the broiler on for just about five minutes or so, just till the top gets brown. And uh, once brown and out of the oven, let cool for a little bit and then serve up with those fake meatballs, those Beyond Meat Sausage meatballs and a side salad if you got one and enjoy.